Hi, and welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm excited to pray with you today. I hope that you've been having a great day. I hope that if this is just after the weekend, that you had a wonderful weekend and that you are going to uh, be having a great week ahead. I have a verse to share with you from the book of Matthew, and then we will get into prayer. All right. This is in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples. He says, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. All right, let's get into prayer. So Father God, I thank you that you are listening to our prayers. I thank you that it delights you when we go to you and we give you our petitions, we give you our prayers and that you are attentive to them. You care for us deeply and you care about the things that we bring before you. And so, Father God, if anyone today is doubting your goodness or doubting your ability to provide or doubting your ability to move and shift a situation in their lives or to come through in a time of need, I pray that you today would show yourself faithful. I pray that you would show us that you are trustworthy, that you, are sh you would show us that you are a God that comes through on his word, that comes through and answers our prayers. I pray that you would show us just how mighty and trustworthy you are. That if anyone has been having difficulty in a certain area of their lives, giving it fully to you, surrendering it entirely to your will, I pray that you would help us today that as we surrender it to you, that you are faithful to bless it. You are faithful to transform it and move and shift it in just the way that you want it, bringing it into your perfect will. I ask God that your kingdom come, your will be done. I pray that in our life, if anyone has gotten out of the will of God slightly or severely. I pray that you would so gently move us back into your perfect will, that you would help us and show us that you are moving us toward the direction that you want us to be in, into your perfect will. If anyone is resisting that, if anyone does not think that that is a good thing, I pray that you would just gently remind us that you have your best for us. Help us to lay down those reservations. Help us to lay down any hesitation or resistance to your perfect will for our lives. And I pray that we would just seek out your word for your perfect will as well, that we would dive in to the scripture, that we would learn what you say because your word is your perfect will. So I pray that you would draw us deeper into your word, draw us deeper into relationship with you. If anyone today has been drifting away from you, I pray that you would bring us back, that you would bring us into close, intimate relationship. And I pray, God, that you would just bless our lives, bless our family, bless our friendships. I ask anyone listening right now, bless the work of their hands, cause it to flourish and thrive and prosper beyond even their expectations or hopes. I pray that you would bless our finances, that it would be in overflow, that we would not just have enough for our needs, but that we would have an abundance to bless others. I pray, God, that you would be showing us a new way of living, a way of living perfectly in your will, submitted to your will, and that the revelation that you're giving us is ever deepening. I thank you, God, for what you're doing in our lives, and I thank you 
for who you are and that you are a trustworthy, good God. We thank you for all that you are to us. We praise you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.